it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today we're going to be doing a lot of water coloring using both traditional coloring techniques and also we're going to be creating a watercolor effect with embossing folders. So in today's project I'm using the Marcy with Apples stamp set from La La Land Crafts and also the Simon Says Stamp Sunflower embossing folder and coordinating die. These are the three main elements that I use to create this card and it's a beautiful design for the late summer and early fall. So here is the stamp set Marcy with Apples. I've already pulled out the stamp which is a red rubber stamp with a cling mount on the back. You do have to trim the girl out along with the sentiments. They all come as a big block and you just trim them out with some scissors. So I'm stamping the image onto watercolor paper with Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Antique Linen. For those of you that are familiar with no line watercoloring techniques, as you know this is one of the best inks to use for this technique. For those of you that are new to this technique, I totally encourage you to stamp this image more than once because you're going to get a darker impression of that ink. The nice thing about stamping with this ink is that because it's a distress ink, it will also fade back when you watercolor over top of it. So you're not going to see the lines, but they do show up very well when you stamp it a couple of times so that way you can see where you're coloring. No line watercoloring does not have to be intimidating. It really is a fun and cool way to create the look as if you had watercolored this image by hand but you had some lines to guide you with where to color and where the image actually is. So I'm using watercolors. You can use any watercolors you'd like. If you wanted to use watercolor markers or if you wanted to use uh, ink like the stress inks you could have watercolored with those too. I'm just using some Daniel Smith watercolors. And for everything I'm really trying to create my own blends of color. You'll notice her hair I used a couple of shades of brown. For the sweater I used pink, purple, and blue and created this really neat variegated look. I also wanted to make sure to incorporate the color red throughout this project because I felt that was a nice strong color for fall. And I thought it would look really nice with the sunflowers that are going to be yellow. And to tie in that yellow I did make sure to use that for something in the image so I chose to use that for her stockings. As I watercolor I'm working in layers so you'll notice I added a lot of flat color initially and then I'm coming back in as things are drying and adding some shading. This is going to allow me to maintain some definition with the coloring. I'm going to be able to get those nice contrasting details but I'm not going to have to worry about the color underneath moving those colors that I'm putting on top. I'm also changing the brush size as I'm working. As I'm working with the flat layers I'm using a size 2 brush and then as I add detail I'm bringing in a zero and that helps me maintain a lot more control as I add those fine details and the, all those little shading elements. I'm also going to add little extra details like I added some dots to her stockings. I added some extra leaves to the apples that weren't actually there and I'm just customizing the image to look exactly how I want. So as you can see I'm wrapping up the coloring. We're almost done. I'm just adding a few extra finishing touches here and there which of course does mean splatters. You don't have to add splatters but I do like the texture that it provides and I also thought it added a little bit of a freckle effect to her face which I thought was cute. Alrighty let's move on to the embossing folder technique. Our image is drying and we're ready to start adding a really cool background for this image. So I have the sunflower embossing folder open on my desk and on the raised areas which for me is on the right hand side of my folder I'm covering those areas with ink. I'm using three shades of distress inks and I'm blending them basically directly onto the folder so that I get a variegated application of ink color. Then I'm going to spritz that with a bit of water to get it moving and place a piece of watercolor paper inside the folder. Because we're using the raised areas of the folder it's now going to press all that ink and the design into our paper. If you were to have used the other side you would have gotten the reverse effect. I'm going to spritz this background a bit more with water and then use a brush to kind of feather out some of those colors into the more dimensional areas of the paper and that's just to soften the white. I didn't want it to be a harsh white. I wanted it to be a little bit more softened. So pulling out those colors really helped for that. Now there's a coordinating die for this folder that allows you to create a single sunflower. I've die cut that sunflower already from some watercolor paper and then I ran it through the embossing folder. That gives me this really cool dimensional sunflower that looks absolutely spectacular. 
I always recommend die cutting first and then tucking that piece of die cut paper into the shape of the embossing folder where it coordinates. And that's because you want to make sure you keep the definition of your embossing. If you do emboss first and then try to die cut, you're gonna flatten it out quite a bit and that doesn't give as dimensional of effect. So I watercolored my sunflower with similar colors that I used from Marcy. And I'm going to also die cut some leaves. These are some olive leaves from Simon Says Stamp. I die cut them from some green cardstock and I'm gonna layer those with the sunflower and Marcy on top of this background. Before I glue anything together though, I did wanna embellish Marcy with some glossy accents on top of her boots and apples. Now I actually found this bottle of glossy material from Moxie. This was in my stash, I've had it for so long I figured I might as well use it up, but it's basically the same thing as glossy accents. So if you have that, just grab that instead. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling things now. I did use some foam tape to attach different elements onto my card, including the sunflower. I also am going to pop Marcy up off of this background, but I did want to make sure to ground her first. So I'm using some brown watercolor to just create a bit of a ground area along the bottom of the card so she doesn't look like she's floating. And that worked really well. I'll then again use some foam tape to attach her down onto the card. And for the foam tape I'm using, this is Simon Says Stamp 3D Foam Squares. They're the larger size and they're really nice. They have a great dimension and they also are super convenient to use. So I'll go ahead and put this on top of my background. We're almost done at this point, but I did want to add a sentiment. So I'm using one of the sentiments from the stamp set and I'm just gonna stamp it onto Simon Says Stamp Black Cardstock. Use white embossing powder on top of the embossing ink to create a nice white greeting on top of this black cardstock and then I'll just cut this greeting out. By the way, if you're interested in any of the supplies that I use today, I do have them linked below in the video description as well as on over at the blog. So if you're interested in anything, you can be sure to check that out. This embossing folder is so cool. I just love how it paired up with Marcy and it created such a cool background too. I hope you were inspired by this project using not only this cute La La Land stamp set, Marcy with apples, but also the adorable sunflower dye and embossing folder combination from Simon's Stamp. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration. We post videos all the time, so there's lots to be seen. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I will see you again very soon with more to share, but until then, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.